Now it's time for our children to collect those little green flags and then put them up here in the plates. street and as he was jogging down the street he saw a poster and the first words on the poster were reward. You know what that word means? What? Well, uh -huh. This was a reward for a lost dog. What does that mean? shepherd and a poodle. <laughs> Only has three legs, flea bitten, old, doesn't see too well, and may bite if cornered. Goes by the name of Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so the jogger laughed because he's thinking, who would name a three-legged, flea bitten, old, blind dog that's nasty and bites? Lucky. But then the jogger thought, and he goes, you know what? That's kind of like us and how God views us. This dog had a family. Even though he only had three legs, even though he was almost blind, flea bitten, he had a family that loved him and was willing to offer a reward to get him back. Jesus sees us the same way. Now hopefully none of you guys are flea bitten. Right? Yeah, that's why you're scratching your head right <laughs> But Jesus sees us the same way. He saw the value in us when there was no value left. And see, your mommy and daddies, they see the value in you as well. And your church family, we see the value in you. And this is why we're so glad that you're here. And we're so glad to see you week after week. And I wanted to let you know that like that dog, no matter what happens to you in this life, no matter how you turn out, there are going to be just a few people that will always love you. Is that right? Yeah. That person that will always love you here on this earth, you know who that is? It's going to be your mother. And then the next person that loves you even more than your mother is Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, she said, what about your fathers? Well, what day is tomorrow? Well, you see, when it comes to Father's Day in June, June. I'll be talking about how much your daddy's love you. But we want to concentrate how much your mother's love you best tomorrow as well. Your grandparents. What about your grandparents? Do your grandparents love you? Yeah. Do you know why? Because they're either your grandmother or your grandfather. 
So always remember that you always have people who love you, care about you. But the one that loves you the most is who? Jesus. Alrighty. Okay, you can go back to your seats. Thank you guys for your help. Thank you.